Good. Okay, everybody. So I am going to be teaching you a system which will allow everybody here to do the one thing that all wealthy people know how to do. And that is managing their money. It doesn't mean that they're more intelligent than you, that they're better looking than you, that they're smarter than you, that they have a, a professorship or a PhD and you don't. Wealthy people are good at what I'm just about to teach you. And that is? Managing, money. Managing your money. Absolutely. Okay. Right. So question that I have for you is this. Uh, how many bank accounts do you have? Diego, how many bank accounts do you have? Two. Two. Okay. How many bank accounts do you have? Three. How many bank accounts Three. do you have? How many bank accounts? Three. How many bank accounts? Two. Bank accounts? Three. Three? three. It looks like three is, is the one to go for, right? Two. Two? two. Five. Five! You're just, you know, you're showing off now. I have five as well. Five. I have five. Five? I now have six. So now, some of you I can see already managing your money. That's really interesting. So some with two, one, some with six. Very interesting. So what do you think people out there, how many bank accounts do you think that they generally have? One. 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 Maybe two but generally one, which means that what happens is, and I'm using this for the first time, by the way, so I think it was something pointy like this. Pointy. Oh, the pointy end. What does this do then? Okay. Uh, highlight. Okay. So what that means is that they have 100% of their money coming in like this. Okay. And so the check comes in, 100% of their money. And then when somebody comes along and says, would you like to go out? And you go, they look in there and they go, oh, I've got a lot of money in there. So they go, yeah, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go and have some fun, right? So this is their fun account. And um, so then what happens is that this one here goes down to maybe 90%. Somebody else goes, hey, you want to go and do something next week? And they go, yeah. And they look in there and they can see that they've got enough money in there. And then it's going to go down and down and down and down and down. Suddenly on the 16th or the 22nd of the month, Somebody says, oh, you need to pay your mortgage. Oh, I don't have enough to pay my mortgage because I've been having so much fun. So what that means is that they're not managing their money. Now, how many of you have ever been in that situation where by the end of the month, you don't have quite enough money? Or put it this way, let's be positive. Um, it would be great if you had a little bit more money so you could pay all your bills. How many of you have ever been in that situation? You know, Charles, you've never been in that situation. Uh, a long time ago. That's very, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure not only that you'll never be in that situation ever again, but we're going to make sure that you're actually going to manage your money into several different pots. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out what those pots are. So for example, um, and I kind of mentioned it just now, what is the major pot that you need? Bills. The bills, right? We could call it the bill pot or we could call it um, your everyday pot or your necessities pot. It's basically the thing where your money comes into, like this thing, let's say it comes here, 100% of your money comes in here, right? On a monthly basis. Oops, I see how this works like that. And it goes into this main pot here, okay? So that's your daily pot, if you like, that you're probably going to be using on a daily basis or your necessities pot or give me some examples of the thing that you're going to be um, spending from here. Give me some examples. Right. Rent, travel, travel maybe, uh, travel depends, travel to, into work, into work. yes, not travel, no, holidays no, no, no. and some of that, childcare, Child yes, well you don't have to have that many children, <laughs> yes, yeah, bills, bills, eating, food, petrol, all the necessities that you need on a, on a daily basis. Now there should be probably, and this is like uh, roughly, it could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but let's say you put, let's say 50 to 60% in there. So we need a number, so we're going to put 55% in here, okay? 55% like this. It might be a little bit less, might be a little bit more. The more you earn, of course, probably the less is going to be in there, okay? If you don't earn that much, that could be a, a huge amount, okay? That could be like 60, 70, 80% even. Then you think, well, what am I going to do this? Ah, but don't forget, well, we haven't yet managed some of the other money. There might be some other jars that you're going to use so therefore, maybe it doesn't have to be so much in there, okay? So let, what, what could the other kind of like pots be? What could they be? Savings. Or accounts. What could they be? Savings. 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 Yeah, savings. Investment. 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 So, so for me, saving, I would never do because 
saving, what, what, what are you saving for? I would invest that money, but I would keep it liquid, like in an ISA or something, but then you can just take it out, okay? So I would say an investment pot. All right. By the way, all of these things are gonna be online. This is gonna be an online system, all right? So it's gonna be online. So you'll have different bank accounts. So online bank accounts. So nowadays, every single bank does this, I hope. Bank accounts, okay, let's do accounts. Oh, you can do this, can't you? This is really simple. Way, how great that I don't get anything on there. That's so revolutionary. Bank accounts, okay. Okay, all right, fantastic. Okay, so this one here could be your investing pot. Um, I'm just gonna put, can I do a different color? Or is it, oh, okay, like this. So I can put my investing pot like this. Investment pot like that. That's my investment pot, yeah? And let's say that you're gonna put if I go back to this, we're going to put 10% in here, okay? So 10% of everything that you earn from here, not from here, 10% everything that you earn from here is going to go into your investment pot. And you're going to invest that in anything that grows. Give me some examples of things that grow. Stocks. Stocks. Help to buy ISIS. What's that? Help to buy ISIS. Help to buy ISIS. So you would put that in there in order so that you can buy a house, is that right? Yeah, they give you yeah. a high percentage job to something like mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. By the way, who invests that money for you, the help to buy ISA? My bank. Your bank. So how much do you get a year? Let's say, let's say you put it in there and you're going to have it in there for the next five years. How much do you get a, a year? I think it's 3%. Okay, a month or a year? A year. Okay, well, you do, you do, you def that's, to me, that's not investing. That, that, I mean, 3% a year. I mean, that's, uh, if you think that inflation might be 5%, you're actually losing, if you're making 3%, you're losing 2% a year. So, not, I understand what, what they're trying to do with it, but that is, that is, that is. Um, now, what you could do, yes, I agree, wrap it up in an ISA, but make sure that it's a trading and investing ISA, or stocks and shares ISA, and learn how to do that. Like, you learned this morning, we taught you how to invest, for example, in oil. Well, if you keep investing in oil, that thing is going to go up a lot more than 3%. So, I mean, a lot more than 3%. Like, we're looking to make how much? Three. Dimitri, how much are we looking to make on that trade? On that particular one? Yeah. Minimum 5%. Minimum. 15%. 15%. 15%. 15%. Yeah, 15%. Well, if you're more aggressive, 20%. 3%. And that, and that could happen in weeks. Mm. And then you're going, right, what do I do now? Like, where's the next oil? Like, you know, what else is down? Okay, what else? What else can we invest in? Property. Property. You're going to need more than, you're going to have to save up for that, right? What else? What can you invest in? Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies, for sure. Yourself. Yeah. Yourself. That, that's actually uh, something else. That's an actually uh, a kind of a a growth account or an education account or something like that. Okay, so this one here, 10%. Now the question is, are you doing this at the moment? Hands up if you are taking a percentage every month, it's automated, it's like forced almost, because it's done by your bank. The money comes in here and boom, it goes out, boom, it goes out, boom, it goes out. Hands up if you do that. Okay, so I'm not including you, Dennis, because one, two, three, I'm not including you, three, you do that. Every month. Every month it comes out automatically. Okay, so four of you, so half of you aren't doing. So just, just imagine what would happen in two, three, four, five, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years from now. And by the way, that will come the twenty years. You say, oh yeah, but I can't. Yeah, but when it comes, you'll be like, I am so glad I did this in twenty years' time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Any questions on that? No. Okay. Right. What other accounts could there be? How many of you? What's that? Education. You you could do an education account, okay? But what what, what this is this is almost like a direct debit. This is, this is like a direct, direct debit is just a vehicle yeah. to do something. It's, to, it's just to pay automatically from one to the other, okay? So what you could do, for example, this color thing is, okay, yes, maybe, maybe I just need to get a bit, okay. We're gonna call this the growth account. What's it called? Growth, growth account. Growth account. Point inside. What's that? Use the point inside. Always the point inside, always the point inside. All right, so what is this for then, the other side? The highlight. Highlight, all right, I'm gonna highlight something in a moment. Okay, now we suggest 10%. What percent? 10%. 10 percent of what? Of the 55 or 10% of the 100? Of the 100. Of the 100, yes. right? 10% here. Why, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? 
Why do you want to grow? Because you increase your value. To increase your value to society, and we know that making money is nothing but a perception by other people of how much value you add. The more value you add to people, the more money you make. So the more you grow, the more money you'll make. So it's like, so you learn something and you earn more money. Now you're going to invest in a lot, because 10% is always 10% of a larger amount. So now you're going to learn something more, you're going to make more money, you're going to learn something more. If you add value, People go, flip and out, I need to give this person some more money, otherwise they're going to leave. Right? But if you don't, you don't. So this is a, an incredibly important one that you do that. Okay, this could be what? Give me some examples of how you can grow. Extra courses. Extra courses? What kind of courses? Financial education courses. Okay, so that's the, the, well, it depends what you want to grow in. Okay, but give me some examples of the kind of things that you can. I don't mean subject matters. Books. Books, you could read books, yeah? Mm -hmm. What else? The IT. By the way, when you read books, don't make the mistake that most people do. They read books. Right? So most people, they'll read a book and go, that was a great book. They'll put it down, they read the next book. Right? Instead of implementing what was in that book, they then immediately put another subject matter on. How many of you have ever watched a film and watched another film immediately afterwards? How many of you have ever done that? If somebody were then to say, tell me about the first film, quickly, tell me about the first film, you'd go, the first film... Uh, because you're so in the second film, you forgot the first film. That's what people do with books. Don't read books, study books. Study them. Read that book five times. Study it, highlight it. There should be writing in there. You can't write the books, you must write the books. When there's an exercise in the book, most people go, yeah, I'll do it later. That's why people don't have money. Why are you reading the book and then the author says, do the exercise? And then you don't do it. That's insane. Okay, what about online courses? Can you do an online course? Yes. If you can't afford a physical course, can you do an online course, yes or no? Yes. yes. It's a little bit more difficult because you don't get the support. You don't get that interaction. You can't ask questions, right? But if you really want to go for it, what kind of courses do you need to do? I do, at the moment, I do the blockchain. No, no, that's the material, yeah. right? I'm talking about what kind of courses? Live courses, if you can. What's that? Live courses. Now, there are seminars that are huge, but if that's all you can afford, go to a seminar. Then there's smaller workshops where you're doing it, you're asking questions. They're more expensive, but that's how people learn the most. Just make sure there's follow-up support on that as well. So there's all different types of ways of learning. Other ways are, by the way, to get a coach and or a mentor. Yeah, coach and or a mentor. That's really expensive. But that's a whole other level, especially a mentor. Okay, what else? What else are we going to do? Every single month, every single month. How many of you would love to do this? How many of you would love to have fun? Yes. yes? Okay, so we're going to have a, a fun account. No, don't. Uh, hold on, let me draw this first. Boom, 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 boom. Guess how much of this 100% we're going to put in there? 10. We're going to put 10%. What percent, everybody? 10%. 10. 10%. We're going to put in there. And this, by the way, this is very important. Let me do this thing again. I want to do this. I'll do this. This is your fun account. Um, and what we're going to do there is you've got to spend, by the way, are you spending this every single month necessarily? If there's nothing good to invest in, are we just going to invest it anyway? No. It's not a good time to invest, but I'm just going to invest anyway. Mark has no. said I've got it. Yes or no? no? No. If there's nothing like for you to grow with, like the course is in three months time, are you just going to spend the money anyway? Yes or no? No. no. But on the fun account, uh, are you going to have fun? E what the hell? Yes. Oh. Uh, are you going to have fun every single month? Yes or no? It's very important that you do that because otherwise you're saying, I want to be rich, I want to be rich, so I'm going to work harder, I'm, I'm going to invest stuff, I'm going to grow stuff, but I'm not going to have any fun. Life won't be worth living. Is it important to do this, yes or no? Yes. yes. It's actually crucial. It's actually crucial that you spend 10% of everything that you earn. Why? Because then you are going to experience the best that life has to offer. And what that will do is motivate you even more because you go, I want more of that. Give me some examples of the kind of things that you can spend this money on. It's a really good investment in yourself, actually. Give me an example. Holidays. Holidays. This is this month. So are you definitely going to spend it this month on the holiday? Are you definitely going out this month on a holiday? Would you say going, going to eat? Jody, yes or no? Definitely this month are you going on holiday? No. No. So this is on a monthly basis. So what are you going to do? Go Cinema. to eat, restaurant. Cinema. Yeah, cinema could be. Is that the best that life has to offer? It's having fun, for sure. Yeah, you could do it. What else? Experiences. Experiences, yeah, like? What about gym? 
Jim is. Just Jim for me is okay. Jim, Jim, where do, where do you think the gym has to go? Necessities. Growth. It depends what you're trying to grow. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Could be right. Could be right. Could be could be growth. To me, it's a necessity. To me, it's a necessity because you need the energy in order to do all of these things properly, right? And not at five o'clock have a bit of a, 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 a like that. So, so to me, that, that one is there. But I guess you could put it as growth if you're doing a new training with a, with a new trainer, etc. Yeah, could put it as growth. But to me, I would put it into necessities. So make a note of that. Um, what about going to a restaurant where when you look at the price, Normally you go, I am, <laughs> why would anybody pay 300 pounds for a meal? That is ridiculous. That's where you're going to go. So that you experience the best that life has to offer. Now you might then say, well, I don't need that. Well, that's good, but, but at least you've experienced it. You don't want to go through life never having experienced it. Okay, that's your 10%. Now, I know how some of your minds work. Some of you have already figured out, aha, if I don't put 10% in there and I don't go out and have fun and, and stuff like that. Where, where could I put this to get richer quicker? Where could I put it? Investment. You could put it in your investment. How many of you have already been thinking that? Anybody been thinking that? Come on, the other liars in the room. Yeah. Thank you. Don't do that. That's a big mistake. Because what's going to happen is if you don't actually look after your fun side, it's going to rebel at some stage and trip you up. You're going to stop doing it. You're going to say, oh, I need to have more fun. It's not all about work. And, 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 and then you're going to go the other way. How many of you have ever done that before? When, when, when you, like, like going, let's say you go to the gym and you say, I'm going to go to the gym every single day. And you do it for a while and you go, what the hell is this all about? And then you stop doing it. So you've got to have, what's this? Balance, Balance in life. That's really important. So you've got to do this. By the way, just so you know, when you do this system, it's going to absolutely change your life. Totally and utterly change your life. I can see the pros and cons of having a, a thing like this. I can really see this. This is really interesting. Okay, um, so every single month, this thing has to be empty. So if at the end of the month, write that down. See so if at the end of the month, you still have money in here, you have to spend it. You have to go out and have some fun. And that could be buying a gift for yourself. You know, so many people buy gifts for other people, but what about yourself? What about looking after yourself? What about doing something for yourself? Is it important to look after yourself? Yes or no? Yes. So important. How can you look after other people when you don't look after yourself? Okay, now, um, by the way, these numbers are going to change depending on your age, how much income, etc. They're a guideline, but I wouldn't change them too much. I wouldn't change them too much. Okay, so we've had the investment account, we've had the growth account, we've had the fun account, we've got the necessities account. What other accounts? Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's good. I can fill this in. Oh, wonderful. Okay, what other accounts do you think there might be? Do you guys give to charity? Yeah, charity. Do you guys give to charity? Yeah. You could do a little charity account here if you wanted to. Okay, you could do a little charity account. So now I'm going to... And uh, we're going to put at least 5%. What percent? 5%. 5 percent in there. Now, the reason we only do 5% is because what's the most precious resource we have in the world? Uh, is time. 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 Is time. So therefore, if you can give your time, that is much more precious for you to give to charity than it is to give money. So you'd be walking down the street and somebody goes, give us a quid, mate. And you just go, oh, don't touch me. And you throw something at their head and you walk off thinking, oh, I'm so great. That's not really charity. So it's more about giving of yourself. Everybody's different. We don't have to have a big discussion about it. 5%. Okay. By the way, if you have a business, the business can do this. The business can pay for a lot of these things. The growth the business can pay for, some of the necessities you can pay for. I tell you, when you have a bit, that's why I said to everybody, you know, it's just for tax purposes alone. It's a good idea because you can put stuff through that. You can put stuff through that. Um, and then this all looks different because you can put more in there because some of it is paid for by the business, okay? But this one here is your, so where am I on at the moment? Is your charity account. Okay, what other, what else could you be doing? What else? Where could your money go? Oh, this is interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Holidays. What's that? Holidays. I actually do have a holiday account. It's not part of the system. I also have a tax account as well. So, I, so I'm going to put these here. It all depends on how much you earn and where you're at in your life, right? But I actually, yes, I, I'm going to put it down here. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this to say that isn't, but I actually have a holiday account. So this is a holiday account. I also have a, a tax account because one year I had to pay a hundred and, how much was it? hundred, something like 160,000 or 180,000 tax. So it was like, okay, I need to have a bit of a, a bit, I need to have a bit of an account for that. Okay, so this could be in a tax account. What else might there be? Everyone's going to be slightly different. I actually have one for child number one, <laughs> child one and child number two, right? Because um, every year we put more money into their pension. We put more money into their trading account in their ISAs, the JISAs, the junior ISAs. So I probably have four accounts that you may not have, okay? But you might need to have the tax one, you may not. All right, what else? What else could there be? Healthcare. Healthcare? You do something like that. You back yourself up, you pay private medical. Private well, that's a necessity. NHS. Okay. That's a necessity. You need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So anything like insurances, private healthcare, anything like that has got to go from here. The gym is another insurance. That goes from there. Haircuts, etc. that goes from there. Yeah, what else? Clothes. Um, what for? What, what, what are the clothes for, Emma? It's funny you should say that. Funny a woman should say that. What, 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 what do you think? What do you think? Um, what kind of clothes? Give me an example. Work clothes. Work clothes? Do you need to wear clothes to work? <laughs> okay, that, that's part of necessities, yeah. isn't it? That's your daily stuff. Okay. Now talk about some other clothes. It's going to fun. Going out to clothes. What's that? Yeah, exactly. Primary. Going out clothes, that's not a necessity, that's fun. Okay. So you put it out of there. Yeah? Can you see that we're managing our money now? Yeah. Okay, what else is there? That, that might be it. Let me just check. Okay, so um, let me let me see. So we got. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a. Uh, well, how about uh, for if you want to buy a house or if you want to buy something longer term? Do you do you, do you have an account for that as well? But the bigger investments, investments bigger investment really, because it it could be a liability if you want to buy a home. For yeah, example. that's the one I didn't really want to add. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, but w so so is it an investment? Uh, well, yeah, if it is, uh, then it will go under investment. But if you live there, for example, or something like that. Do you, does I mean, most, most, most people, and uh, people are divided on this, right? Is it investment? Is it not investment? Okay, hands up. Would you see that as an investment? Your home? Because you have to live somewhere. So some people say, hmm, it's not really because I need to live somewhere. It's not really an investment. So are we not saying that we could be investing for a home? Or are you just saying the one we're buying and we're living in? Is that what Confused. Yeah, so which one did you mean, Dennis? I mean the one we live in. Okay. The one you live in. Okay, so would you say that's an investment, the one that you live in? No. No, no. okay. Then you're going to need to have another one here. Okay, so this one, not quite sure what to call it, it could be a saving for spending later. Okay, so saving for spending. So give me some examples of the kind of things that you could do there. Saving for spending. What could you do? As in what it would be for? Yeah, give me some Home examples. Improvement. What's that? Home improvement. Home improvement, Home yeah. Extension on your house or conservative. Yeah, home. you've got to decide how much. It could be 10%, it could be 7%, it could be 5%. I mean, how, it could be an extension. What else could it be? Car. Could be a new car. Could be, who said holiday earlier? Jody, you said holiday. That's where your holiday could come in. Okay. You know, when, when you're, because look, if it's, if it's something that you do once a year, Okay, that's that could come from here because it's like, well, I need, I need a holiday. I'm very much, well, you don't need a holiday. You only need a holiday if you deserve a holiday. But everybody, everybody goes on holiday, right? They shouldn't. You have people who absolutely have no savings, they have no investments, but they bugger off on holiday. And then once they're on holiday, what happens to the ATM machine? It gets used. At the ATM machine, what happens? Rejected. You, 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 start, you, you start taking all the money out and then you say, well, I'm on holiday, etc. And it's an absolute nightmare. So, it, it, and that's a mindset thing. I don't think people should automatically have a holiday. If you haven't put down something in your uh, cryptocurrencies or you haven't opened an ISA this year or you haven't put something into your pension, you don't deserve a holiday. Come back next year, work a bit harder and then maybe you deserve it. Here you think you deserve a holiday. Your bank account is screaming, you do not, should. not only do you not deserve it, but you're actually spending money, so you're making it even worse. 
Okay? But that, and that's how people, yeah, but I did a lot, that's my life. And I, okay, fine, but you'll be working for the rest of your life. Okay? So, so um, could it be, um, uh, what about this? What about university? See, I, I, this is kind of my S for S, savings for spending down here. I am making sure that they can pay for their own education. Because at university, it's £9,000 each a year. Well, they've already got, I mean, they've both got 80,000 in there already, so they're, they're done, you know. But anyway, they're only 10 and 8, so, oh, actually, one of them had a birthday, so she's 9 now, I can't say that. So they're going to be well, you know, that, that's going to be fantastic. Mm, let's see, let's see where we are. So 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, okay. So that basically is everything that you can do. Now, why is this so important? Because okay, you might go, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Most people who don't have this, and I'm going to come back to my previous example, they will say, do you want to go out tonight? And they'll look at their account and say, yes, there's a lot of money in there. I want to go out. Now, imagine you had this system and you'd already gone out several times and it is now the 27th of the month. And somebody goes, would you like to go out? Which one of these do you look at? Fun you look at the fun account. You look at it and you go, ah, actually, I don't have any money in there. So what do you say to them? No. No, thank you. Well, you can. Or you can say, I would love to see you. Let's do it next week. Because the 27th. So next week is going to be time to go out. What else could you say? Um, uh, if you're paying, yeah. If you're, <laughs> <laughs> or, if you're paying, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we, you come home to me and we get, get pizzas, do something cheaper if that's... When you say we get pizzas, you, you, so you're on the right track. Say, so listen, I would love to see you, but you know what? I want to spend some quality time with you. So why don't you come around, I'll supply the water, <laughs> uh, you supply the pizza, and we'll come around, right? They go, yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah? You even supply like the cups and the knives and forks and everything. Bring a DVD, you know. Um, do people still use DVDs? Bring your login. Bring your login. Bring your login. Okay, listen, let me tell you something. This system, when you do it, I use First Direct. That is whatever online system your bank has. When you do this, I promise you it will absolutely change your finances. I've had people coming up to me and going, oh, I never used to invest, now I invest. Look, it could be like a couple of hundred, but you put it into cryptocurrencies. Right? John, how much are you up on cryptos? About 67. 67% in, uh, that, must, that sounds like years. How long did it take you? Uh, I first bought on the 12th of December. It is now Jan uh, February 12th. Yeah. So two months. Two months, 67%. Well, that's not bad. Now... And then you're going to reinvest and reinvest and grow, grow, grow. This is all about growing, investing, 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 and growing, 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 growing. Okay. Um, so people have come up to me and said, I never used to give to charity, you know. And by the way, again, you don't have to do this because you could just give your time. So that would be another five. What would you do if you didn't do that? Where would you put that 5%? Investment. I would put it definitely there. Any excuse to do that. But don't do this. Don't do that. This is really important because you're going to you're going to resent this. You're going to resent the hard work. Yes. So for example, growth account. Yes. You would say that 10 percent has to be spent that month. No, this is the only one. Okay. This one here. Hold on. Let me just uh, maybe I, I could have used the highlighter then. This is the only one that needs to be spent that month and this one, if you're going to do it, they're the only two that need to be spent that month. Now, the idea isn't that you, you know, say, because this is not a saving account. What, what are you going to do? Is, it doesn't grow. This, 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 this has to grow, right? This is an investment account. Investment means it grows. And it's good because your investments are growing, you're growing, you're having fun, you're saving up so you can get a new car, blah, 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 blah. You're giving to other people and you're taking care of your daily activities. I mean, that's pretty incredible. And, and when these people come up to me and they say, oh, and, and I assume because it's out of context, I don't know what they're talking about. They say, oh, did you get a raise? Did you, you know, it's no, I'm just managing my money. Most people do not manage their money. The question is, do you manage your money, really? 
I'm, I'm gonna I'll come, come to you in a moment because some people what they do is they actually have a debit card for each one. So when they go out shopping and they go, ooh, oh, that's this debit card. Talk about managing your money, holy moly. Because this then goes straight out of that account. This goes straight out of that account. Okay, if you can't do that, then probably um, you're going to get what? You're going to have your statements coming through, right? Whatever it is, and then you're gonna have probably some money. You know, this one's 70 quid, this one here was 50 quid and whatever. And then you just say, ah, well, which account did that come from? And let's say these two, right, came from, so that's what, 120? And that came from, um, give me an account, give me an account quickly. Uh, came from your fun account. What you're then gonna do, you're gonna go to your account. Oh, up here. All right, I love this. You're gonna go from this account, and what you're gonna do is you are going to then make sure that 120 comes from this account into this account, and then you can pay your credit card from this. This will go here, this will go here, this will go here, this will go here, this will... Honestly, this takes minutes. The first time you do it, yeah, it's a lot, uh, but I tell you what, it, it, I love doing this. I look forward to doing this. It's, it, it'll absolutely change your life. I promise you, it'll change your finances. Yeah, any questions on that? John, you had a comment. I was going to say, obviously, not everybody, I would assume, can 55% cover all their necessities. No, so, so this is going to change. Yeah, so say somebody has, you know, at the moment, I'm going to change it, but at the moment, it's 70% of my money is going to my living. Yes. Um, where would you, what would be your suggestion on the bottom ones? Would you go minimum 5% in all accounts, or...? Well, the, the very first thing I would say, and I know what you're saying about this, but this one here, I'd really make sure, there's a lot of people that when they actually look, you know at the Wealth Creation Masterclass, we look at, okay, what are you actually spending your money on on a monthly basis? And people go, whoa, you know, I, I, I have this like thing, like Netflix. Okay, it's only whatever, 10 pounds, but I don't really use it. Oh, it's 10 pounds a month, you know, that's great, you know. Uh, and, and then they subscribe to something that they don't really use. And if you really look at that, you know that 100 pounds that you take out of the ATM machine and you know have it in your pocket and it's like five pounds here and a croissant there and a coffee there. All of that, that's not necessities, that's your fun account. Because you don't really need that coffee. You could actually bring in your own coffee into work. Just in the short term, while you're adding more value to people and in return going on commission on something for adding more value to your boss. But otherwise, which one, I mean, this one, which one, which one, which one, which one? They are so important. Could you give the... Uh, More time, time to charity, so that's 5%. Maybe, what is it, maybe less here, maybe? This one here is so important because the more you grow, the more money you're going to get. So this one here, you just, you just can't. This one here, you can't because you've got to pay yourself first. You've got to grow, 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 grow. You can't stop really doing, you, you could, but you're going to start resenting it. So in order... I would say this would be the, the this would be one that maybe you could do. Definitely this one first. Secondly, this one here. Thirdly, this one here. Yeah. Come on, let's have a quick uh, discussion. Q and A. What? Uh, what? What discussions? Yeah. So that, for example, I know Monzo. They have a thing where you can do pots, yeah. and you're able. These are pots. So, so I'm just going to ask you, for example, on, on a Monzo account. Yeah. Yeah. I can get paid my whole check, should you say, on one's own account. Am I able to distribute it all in my pots? Would that be something you'd say? You do all you want me to go and get another account and actually say, this is my investment. Okay, so, so, so how many accounts do you have at the moment? I don't have three. Three. Right. So, so do you have, so are they interlocked or are they one, two, three like this? They treat them as different bank accounts, yes. but ah. they're actually all underneath the same account. You can That's split all your money out. You, literally split you can split it. That's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. So what I do with First Direct is that I know that my money comes in in a lump at the same time every single month. Should be the same with you. And I know that three days later, I say to them, I want, now, either you say percentages, which would be the best thing, or they might want an amount, in which case you have to tell them what the amount is going to be roughly, and then they'll do it. And it goes... You know, on that day it goes, and suddenly all the money, so there was 100% here of the money that came in, and suddenly it's like that, and there's only a certain amount in there, a certain amount in there, and it just does it automatically. Is that what you can do with that bank? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only thing you can't do, I'm not too sure, is actually pay directly from... 
No, you must be able to transfer money to the, to this account. Yeah, I'm forever doing doing this. Okay, so you can so you can bring it back up and just say yeah, I yeah. Paid for my fun account which came from. If your credit card, right? If you don't have a debit card for your fun account yeah. that you're going to go and go right, right drinks from me, um, you got to stop doing that as well. Um, then obviously when the bill comes and it's linked to this account, you're going to have to put money in there because otherwise you're taking it from the necessities. Yeah, I just realized how much I spit when I talk. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so it just comes down to us just saying, okay, that I spent that £50 that I spent on a pair of shoes that I really, really wanted in my fund is from my fund account. So yeah, and you know what happens when you do that and you're forced to put it back like that? You go, next time you go, oh, do I really want that pair of shoes? Okay. And it's fine if you want them. It's your fund account. You can do it. But once it's at zero, it's at zero. So now you've got to wait three days, four days. Most people will carry on because they think it's all still in there because they don't manage their money. Mm. Poor people, and when I say poor, I mean poor thinking people, they don't manage their money. So therefore, somebody says, do you want to go out? Do you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. The money goes from the wrong place. Now you don't have enough to invest. That's why you'll never become wealthy. Now you don't have enough money to grow. Therefore, you'll never be wealthy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions on that? May feel free. The, if there was one question, everybody asked one question. Yes. It's just investment money it goes to your ISA account. It's not your As an example. So it just is not going to the normal account. So no, well, it has to go. Well, well, you've got to put it in there first to know how much there is. And then, then yeah. send it to I would say the director. So, yeah. Yeah. so you don't. You don't direct a bit from the top one. To mm, well, the you other. can, but that's you're not managing it as well. I would put it in there first and then do that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So um, when you see that your investment is growing, is more fun to put uh, more money into the investment. Would you increase that percentage potentially? How can you increase that percentage from Quite the hundred percent? Yeah. You, can, you can't. Lower. How? Uh, well, it's a percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if okay, so if you don't spend those fifty-five percent. Ah, you mean so you're now making more money. Yes. Here, you're reinvesting, 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 reinvesting and compounding your money anyway. Uh, but the only uh, way that you can do a bigger amount is if you earn more here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then, but okay, yeah. Or, again, you do the, not the charity thing, you give, and then there's an extra 5% in there, which will make a huge difference. Yeah. But let, let's say I have 3,000, for example, as expenses, those 55%. And now, just as an example, I can barely, you know, that's, that is 55%, right, of what I come in. But all of a sudden, I have 20,000 coming in each month. So now those 3,000 is way less than 55%. Mm -hmm. Then I decrease that percentage and spread that percentage out. Um, yes, if that, if this changes, yeah. then yes, you can put more in here. I would put it in here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If this changes, yes, you put it in here. Yeah. But only if this changes. Yeah. Do you understand? So if he's now got 20 grand a month coming in, this isn't going to be... Fit. Well, it depends, right? Most people it would be. And that's the biggest mistake they make. Because when they make more money, what do they do? They upgrade. They upgrade their house. They upgrade, and then it all still stays the same. Now, it's still more. It's still more because it's 10% of a larger amount. But it's crazy because actually, if you were just for, for, for a few years you know, make this one go down and put 20 or 30% in here or more if you can, I mean, it would be amazing. Especially since most people, this is zero. I mean, the difference is insane. You'd be surprised how two people working struggle at the end of the month because they don't manage their money. They don't have it. They go, yeah, next month, next month. Well, they don't even think about it. But let's say they do, they go, well, I'll do it, do it next month. Well, next month never happens. How many of you are already recognizing that you're not really managing your money. Be honest. Thank you. And how many of you recognize that if you did this, it could change everything as long as you managed to convince your partner? <laughs> yeah. It would be good if they were here because then they'd be able to ask questions. They have to take ownership of it. Otherwise, you're forcing them to do something and that's never good. Yeah. Right. What would your question be if you had a question? I don't have a question. Have a question. What, what if you did have a question? What would it be if you did have a question? Have a think about it. What, what's the lowest? I mean, it's, it's, I suppose it depends on your amount and the expenses, but then maybe what's the lowest percentage in the necessities pot that you've seen? Yeah, I mean, that, 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 well, that could be 20%. Yeah, be ideal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then, more sales. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not more, yeah. Well, or, or get a partner that earns a lot of money. 
<laughs> no? I'm on track there. Yeah, you're on track there? <laughs> Go for it. That's good. Um, very important uh, is to get your partner on board here. Very important because two people, like both of them might not earn that much, but two together, you should be earning really well. Really. And so therefore at this stage, you know, you can really do some good damage here when you manage your money. Yes, Dimitri. Would you do this individually or would you, or would you do I would do I would do it I would do it together. Okay. I would definitely do it together. Now, what you could do though is this. What you could do, and I would actually suggest that you do this. Uh, I mean, Madrika and I have this, okay? So we have, so I'm just talking about, this is my account, okay? So she, she has the same on her account. We actually take out, on the money that comes in, before we do all of this, we actually take out a certain percentage, right? And we just do what we want with it. Like, anything we want with it. But personal. Personal. As in, just from Marcus and then from Madrika? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that like the, what, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do. You want to buy a new suit? And new shoes, new shirt, whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that wouldn't go down under as fun, then, because that could be for both of you, right? Yeah, but this could be both of us together. Whereas this is none of her business. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't even need to know. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a fun fun account. That's a, <laughs> that's a fun fun account. See what your mind went there, or maybe it didn't. Maybe my mind just went there. Um, so this could be things like, let's say I, I liked uh, golf uh, clubs yeah. and I already have five drivers and I go, it's my money, I want another one. And she would go, what the hell, you've already got five and I'd go, you've got a hundred shoes. <laughs> but, but that's none of her business, none of my business. She can buy another pair of shoes. Okay, cool. Funny story actually and then, and then we'll finish there. So once we're walking along and, and Madrika, she, she wanted to buy a pair of shoes. And but you've got to understand, Madrika has like a shoe cupboard. So she has so many, I, I mean, I'm married to a centipede. I mean, it's just ridiculous, right? And I said to her, I said to her, I, I couldn't help myself. I, I, you know, sometimes you go like that and you wish you'd, you'd have your... So I basically say, why do you need another pair of shoes? You've got so many shoes together. Now, what you might not know is I like going out to restaurants. Right, and I, I might spend two hundred pounds, three hundred pounds, right? So, so, so she, so, so, okay. So I'm saying, why do you need another shoes? You got so many shoes, you don't need another pair of shoes. She goes, what about you? You go to a restaurant, you eat it, you shit it out the next morning. How does that make sense? I was like, wow. But, but she did it without. She, she, she didn't even think of it. She goes, what about you know? She went boom like that, and uh, it put me off going to restaurants for a long time. <laughs> no, because she's right. At least her shoes, like she's, she doesn't hardly ever wears the same ones, right? So therefore, she have one every two months or something. So they're going to be there for years, right? I eat this stuff; it goes into my colon and it's out the next day. Honestly, I thought about it. And I thought, bloody hell, that is a waste of money. <laughs> you know, so so that's really interesting. Anyway, we'll cut that bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Any more questions? Have you got an idea of which kind of banks we should... I use First Direct. First Direct. That's HSBC. But that's not, you know, I, I like them. They're, they're very good customer service. It's all online. So they know all about this. Yeah? Good. Question is, though, are you going to do it? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. We will see. Are you going to do it, Emma? I've already started doing it. Have you, done, have you started doing it? Maybe we do a recap, you know, we come back in a few months and see... Let's do that. Let's do that. So, so how, how long do you need? A month? Yes. Don't need more than a month to do this, do we? Let, let, let's do part two, and then you can kind of tell us what you've done and whether it's made a difference or not. Should make a huge difference. Should make a huge difference. Yeah. Good. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done. Managing your money. That's what millionaires do.